Yo, what is going on guys? Okay, so today we're gonna to ask three questions on how to get in shape when you've got minimal time restrictions. Sorry, very restrictions on the time you have available to you to get in shape. So tip number one. Ooh, um, okay, so for me, it would be, you know, if you're, especially if you're traveling like somewhere like this, it would be to get out, walk, Where move we? around. We're in Tampa. It's very sunny. It's, it's Jazzy beautiful. Shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my first tip is if I travel anywhere, it's to uh, throw everything in my hotel room go for a walk, have a look at my surroundings, um, get some fresh air, you know, get the traveling out of my system, um, maybe have a black coffee, low calorie, and, and just get some steps in. Uh, point number two for me would be in terms of training. I would look to, even if you don't do like a weight training session every day, if you look to do a full body training session, you'll get a hell of a lot of like bang for your buck from that and focus on big compound exercises. So if you think, for example, you do a squat compared to a, and a bench press compared to a bicep curl, what's gonna be more effective in you burning more calories and have more of a anabolic effect on your body and keeping you leaner, it's gonna be the bigger exercises. So if you focus on doing bigger compound movements and perhaps training your full body, even if it's every three days, that'd be more effective than doing a body part split in that scenario from a time efficiency, time efficiency point of view. Yeah, so I wanna figure out, I wanna I want to hear your next one. So I'm gonna suggest we over deliver. I'm gonna say mine, and then we're gonna actually over deliver and give a fourth. So Ooh, especially fourth, yeah, I my, think a good one. My one is completely transparently is just with, especially when you're traveling in terms of food, um, just a lot of people say, what supplements do I take when I'm traveling? The reality is I actually don't take a huge amount of supplements when I travel because chances are you're gonna be overeating in your meals generally. So I wouldn't take a huge amount of protein powder. I wouldn't take a huge amount of like protein bars and things like that unless- And I'd also look, to, trying cut, to, I'd look to cut meal frequency down a little absolutely, bit. Absolutely, because the chances are if you're eating away or out, you're probably gonna be consuming more calories per meal than you realize. So I would actually limit my meal frequency. And then the, our over delivery number four. The over -deliver, deliver number four is try and pick a hotel next to near a decent gym. So that will make your life a lot easier. You awesome. are a product of your environment. If you put yourself in the environment, we have a very good training facility next door, chance are you are gonna to get to the gym and you're not gonna be like, oh, there's too much traffic, I can't go and train. Just just on that topic, most of you, and have said it to me so many times, I'm traveling, you know, I'm in a hotel, it's, ugh, I don't know if I can train. The reality is nine times out of 10, the gym is in the same building as you. There's always a gym in hotels. So if there's you say, do. 100%. So imagine living above a gym for a weekend. That's exactly generally what's happening. Easy peasy. So you've no excuse. Uh, where can they go to find out more? So find out more, hit the link uh, below in the summary if you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching. If you have any other questions, drop me a comment below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Peace. Sweet. Cool to action,